Hey guys, Pagai Rules here, and as soon as I had put up my last video, the Where is Classic Cartoon Network one, people alerted me to the fact that there is now a Boomerang app that is a subscription service where you can pay to watch a bunch of old cartoons. And immediately my heart sank. Oh great, this video that I had just made where I had looked into multiple different streaming services trying to figure out why all of these classic Cartoon Network shows are missing from them and why there's like no legal way to watch them has all apparently been rendered moot because there is one centralized location for all of these shows. So I downloaded the app and was immediately met with excitement because, yeah, no, this isn't the great hub for older Cartoon Network shows that I had hoped it would be, therefore my video is still relevant, and then of course I was met with sadness because this awesome app that I thought had existed doesn't really exist in the way I think it does. So the app mostly has really old cartoons. Your Looney Tunes, your Tom and Jerry's, your Hanna-Barbera cartoons, which is neat. And I'm not knocking those shows, but weirdly enough, I think a lot of those have actually had more play on Boomerang in recent years than a lot of the Cartoon Network originals pre-2010 have had. Not to mention the fact that a lot of these classics actually did get full series DVD releases. So, what does this app have in terms of Cartoon Network originals? Well, there's Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is always a nice pick, but there's only two seasons. And as much as I love Courage, well, that's actually one of the very few older shows that actually has gotten a lot of love from Cartoon Network. It actually has all four seasons on DVD, and it's one of those shows that would actually pop up on Cartoon Network from time to time, especially during Halloween. So it's great that it's there, but where's the love for other cartoon cartoons? Because it's the only one of them on here. In terms of later Cartoon Network originals, we have My Gym Partner's a Monkey, which while not a great show, is one that hasn't gotten much love from the network, and is one that I'd at least be curious to watch again, and The Life and Times of Juniper Lee, which I think is a great candidate for a show to get some love. I never even actually watched the show when it was on Cartoon Network, and it definitely was not a show that lasted too long on the air. It didn't really fit in with the rest of what Cartoon Network was doing at the time. But with both those shows, there's only about 13 episodes of them. So not only are there only three Cartoon Network originals on here, but each of these shows only has a very small amount of episodes, which is just baffling to me. Like what, are they afraid this is going to affect the My Gym Partners A Monkey DVD sales? Because it won't, because there are no My Gym Partners A Monkey DVDs. Oh wait, no, that's not entirely true. There have been two volumes released on DVD, but in Latin America only. And I suppose technically, maybe they're afraid of it hurting the iTunes sales, but honestly, who is buying My Gym Partners A Monkey on iTunes? I can't imagine it would be too many people. Now, in some news articles I read about this app, they did say they were going to cycle in and out some shows as months go on. So basically, the library would get updated with new stuff, and some shows might get removed. I'm still not entirely sure on if that's true or not, as I saw some kind of conflicting sources on this. So maybe Cartoon Network is going to put up more of their original programming on here at some point, which would definitely explain why they've taken down a lot of their stuff from Netflix and have a very limited selection on Hulu, but that's only a maybe. And even if they do, they're likely not going to put up the whole series at once, only just like one season. So yeah, here's where classic Cartoon Network is. Kind of. Not really. Look, I would totally be down to pay for an app where I got access to a large variety of Cartoon Network shows that no longer get airtime. But this is absolutely not the way to do it. If you're going to give me a show, you had better give me all episodes of that show. And they really need to add more shows from the 90s and 2000s time period. And I really don't understand why they haven't already. They should have the rights to all of these shows. It would do wonders to fill out the catalog and really make it seem like you're actually getting your money's worth when you're subscribing to the app. I mean, it'd be like if Nintendo had access to all of these really good, really classic, really nostalgic games and a service with which to put them all on, and instead of just opening the floodgates and throwing a bunch of stuff out there, decided to drip feed things very slowly and then restart every console generation. Oh, oops. And obviously, since they have not only Gym Partner Juniper Lee and Courage the Cowardly Dog, but a bunch of new shows like Be Cool Scooby-Doo and Banicula, there is no thematic reason why they can't have a bunch of the other Cartoon Network originals on there. Since not only are some of these shows classic, as in over 15 years old, but clearly they're not sticking to the whole old show thing too strictly, since they not only have newer ones tied to older ones on there, but My Gym Partner is a Monkey, which came out in the mid-2000s. As much 
much as I would love Cartoon Network to make a classic splat style block, really more than anything else, I just want a convenient way to seed some of these old shows. Legally, of course, because I know a million people are going to comment that, and hey, look, it's fine for you, but personally, I don't like to do that. If this Boomerang app does indeed improve in the coming months, then yeah, I would definitely subscribe to it and be happy to do so. But it definitely needs a bigger variety, and the idea of giving a show without giving all of the episodes is completely mindless, as it would cost them absolutely nothing to release all of the episodes at once. Bye Guy Rules, out.